Are these walnuts? Chestnut tree. Oh, that's very nice. Chestnuts take a long time to grow. They take 24 days to grow to get four chunks of wood. Or we can gather the chestnuts from them. So that's kind of cool. So once we get a path over here. Ooh, maple tree. Maple. Get more berries. That's good too. All right. So we're doing pretty good. Again, we have no indication when this next drought cycle, hopefully before or after our dam is complete. That's why I'm not really building anything else. I want to make sure that our dam gets fully complete before um, I go and start going a little crazy. I'm going to, I'm going to prioritize that up just a little bit. And I'm going to destroy this bush just so I can, oops, I think I have to go to here. Nope. I need to go to, oh, there we go. This one. So you destroy things, mark for demolition. There we go. I'm destroy that bush. So then I can complete that path. Uh, you can see in my district that it doesn't want to come all the way down here, and that's why. There we go. So you can kind of start seeing that this is kind of more of a yellow, and this is a very vibrant green. You can really see it here. Where, ah where this area is starting to get yellow and this area is very green. So the further out you go from this main district, the harder it is for the beavers to actually get to where they're going. It, it, it kind of gets outside of district bounds. So what we want to do is we want to be sure that <clears throat> we can get them as far as we can with all of our paths. And once someone is available to, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yes, delete that. You don't need that. There we go. I don't need to keep adding to this path, but it just kind of helps me remember that then I can build on top of this dam so then I can get to this other side. So I want to be able to, so our priorities are get the dam finished, kind of get a little bit more lodging. You can kind of see now we have three empty beds, which is good because we just built a whole new housing complex. Ooh, and already we only have one empty bed. Whew, just like that. And we have still those two baby beavers and we have 12 adults. So we, they will uh, kind of repopulate themselves. There we go. There we go. This kind of makes a nice little line of like this, anything that's uh, this river is feeding kind of stops right along there. So I try not to use any of my fertile land in order to, oh, what am I doing? I need a storage area for all this food. Hmm. We can put it right across here. That'll be, that'll be okay. And we can still add some more, um, farming plots kind of on this side here. And plant crops. Maybe we'll plant some potatoes just on this side. Just so we can start getting those kind of going. There we go. And I'm going to click on the farming house and I'm going to say we're going to prioritize harvesting. So then we can get some of this stuff up and um, cleared. So that being said, they're not going to plant right along with everything else, but I want to be sure that we get that stuff cleared out. And then once we get that cleared out a little bit, I will let them prioritize planting again. And we're going to prioritize carrots because they take the less time to grow and we need to get them kind of out and going. Potatoes are going to kind of be like secondary, right? We're just letting them grow just to start that process because eventually we're going to want to get this grill so then we can cook the potatoes. So if we slow this down a little bit, if we click on a beaver, we can see their hunger, their thirst, um, if they're sleepy, if they're okay with their shelter, <clears throat> and then their nutrition. So anytime you kind of go up this bar, oh look, sunflower seeds, that gives you a plus one to nutrition. So the better the food, 
the better uh, your people are going to work. So they have like a social life little bar. They have an nutrition bar, um, aesthetics. So if you have like statues, all that fun stuff, um, in awe. So all this stuff is like under the well-being. Um, ooh, so they, they actually do like wet fur. <clears throat> but they want it in the shower. Oh my gosh, my voice. Hold on. Alright, but they want it in the shower. Form. Oh, hey, we need to spend some of this uh, science, which is good. Uh, let's get the better housing. I want the double launch so I can actually... Ah, right. It's 115. I only have 120. That's okay. Um, I'm actually going to get the large storage tank. Yes. Hmm. That would be really awesome. But that's 5,000. That's a lot of science. And it needs a lot of stuff that we don't have right now. But if I get this large water tank, I need planks. So we are actually going to have to... Oh, so that's built. We can build this path. Bam. We can see in our district. Look, now we can come all the way over here. You can see we're starting to get red. Things are starting to not get worked as great. That's okay. Uh, they should still work on these three chunks of dam, even though it's not technically in... They're starting to not be able to reach it. So that should be okay. Um, what we do want to do is we're going to get a couple platforms. We're going to get platforms like this. We are going to have water wheels because water wheels work really well. Yeah, we want it to go this way for um, making products. So I'm just trying to find a good place where we're going to set this. We're going to actually set the building. Uh, ooh, we need a forester as well. Can I make? Yes, I can grab the Forester. We need, let's get this going on. So Forester, we can come in here and we can say, hey, um, let's do some birch trees. We're going to do some birch trees here. Uh, pine trees are really well, but they take kind of a longer time. So we're just going to kind of do a little chunk of pine trees up here. Uh, we're not going to do any maple or chestnut just because they take so long to grow. I don't want them... This is kind of like my uh, area where I'm going to quick grow some stuff um, and use it for like building and stuff like that. So this takes nine days and it gives us one. We can wait a little bit longer and gives us two, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we can also transplant berries and we can actually get like a, instead of having all these kind of scattered berries, we can actually just make it so we have a good chunk of berries. Um, I'm going to actually just do a little bit more pine. And then just one last row of birch. Because birch is our fastest growing one. And then they should be working on that. Once I get that up and going, um, we will have someone to be able to work for it. So that's kind of cool. Let's uh, speed that up a little bit. We're going to take this as a highest priority. So yes, I'm going to say I know I have the stam. Oh! You can see this red. It's saying, hey, there's going to be 2.5 days until this drought hits. You're going to need water. So, see, we're start we don't have any more. Okay, hold on. Cut trees. Cut as many trees as you can. You can even cut these trees over here. These trees are dead, so it's not really going to affect us too much. But we need to be able to uh, get some of the stuff going. I would really like this to be fully operational. But, yep, perfect. So we got a, at least one log in there. They're going to start chopping down these trees. Good. go. 
So we'll, I think we'll be okay until we can get our foresters uh, log going on. There we go. They're going to fill this water up. They're going to fill this water up. And we should be good then for our drought that's coming. We are going to try to prioritize these three things. I know I said I wanted this prioritized, but uh, it might just be what it has to be. Let's try to get this dam done. And I'm going to actually deprioritize this stuff. Because I want to be able to hold water. We don't have a lot of time, and I don't think we're going to make it. Now, the water doesn't shut off right away, and it slowly trickles out, but it it's, it probably takes a full day for it to stop fully going. We do have three water barrels, though they're not all filled up. We just have a lot of people kind of running around. So I want to be able to be sure we have enough water, and I We'll see. Hopefully we don't end up in a drought situation where we have people uh, really needing water. This one isn't filled up all the way and that scares me. Yep, and then they're going to go to bed and then the cycle's going to hit. You can see we're flowing really fast through here. 